money from you I won't lie to you But I feel life on you In the night Get up down for you baby. Hi, welcome to another tutorial on this channel. Do you want to learn how to create a wedding photo frames slideshow in Filmora X just like the one you're watching right now? Then stay with me, I'll show you how. Hey, welcome to VC Creator Secret Tutorials. Before we get started, if you're new here, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I publish new tutorials every week. For more unique awesome videos like this, check the links in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, let's get started. In order to pull this off, we need photos. And I have mine already in my library you can import yours. So let's get started by dragging down our first image to the timeline and go to color sample and drag down white and add it to the timeline on the track below. So double click on the picture and go to transform. Then reduce the scale to 80 and let's adjust the frame, the white frame from both from both sides and also the Y, the Y to 10, so that we'll have space below for our text. So when that is done, let's add text to the frame. Pick any text, we're gonna use this, drag it down and drop it on the third uh, track on the timeline. Double click on it and make some changes to it. So you can change the text, you can write whatever you want. You can change the text, change the color, change the font until you get exactly what you want. When you're done, click on the icon and take a snapshot. Here is our snapshot. Now delete the image and drag down another one and insert it right there. So double click on the image and go to transform. Change the scale to 80%. Draw and change the white to 10. Let's add some text. So double click on the text and type uh, something that you can type whatever you want. You can change the color, change the font and get exact or you can leave it the way it is. And when you're done with that, the next thing we, you need to do is to click on the icon and take a snapshot. And here is our snapshot. Now let's drag down our third image to the timeline. Double click on the image, go to transform, change the scale to 80 and the Y to 10, the right 10, change the font until you get what you want. And when you're done with that, click on that snap icon and take a snapshot. Do the same for all the other images, one after the other. Just follow the same process and do it. Alright, now that we're done, let's take a look at our snapshot. Let's go through all our snapshots. We have 10 of them. So, that's our snapshot. Now let's highlight the one on the timeline and delete them. We don't need them. Now, with that done, let's move to the second stage. Drag down the first snapshot to the timeline. You can expand it to how long you want. We're gonna expand this to 25 or so. Then double click on it and go to animation and customize and add a keyframe. Change the scale to 70% and the rotation to 25%. And reposition the image on the screen, move it to the left and move the playhead back to the beginning of the image and restore the scale and the rotation and move the image out of the frame. Double click on the last keyframe and let's drag down our second image and expand it to the same length with the other one. Move the playhead forward two seconds and add a keyframe. Now change the scale to 70% and the rotation to, to a minus 25%. 
Now move the picture to the right to change the position. Move the playhead back to the beginning of the image and add a keyframe. Ch uh, restore the rotation and the position and drag the, the image out of the frame toward the right hand downside. So this is what we have. Now double click on the keyframe, let's go back and drag then our third image. Expand it just like before. Then move it, move the playhead forward two seconds and double click on the image and add a keyframe. Change the scale, this time around change it to 80 and there's no rotation. So. Let's move the playhead to the, to the beginning and restore the scale. Let's drag the image down out of the frame. And this is what we have. So just follow the same way and add the same animation to all your images. It doesn't matter how many there are. Just follow the same process and do the same too. Then one after the other. Right, as you can see we've done for all the images let me show you what we have so far all right it's looking awesome we're not done yet so let's highlight all the images and move our playhead forward two seconds before the end of the picture and now we're going to add keyframe to each of them. So click on the image and click on keyframe one after the other and do the same for all the images. Alright, when you're done, move the playhead to the end of the, of the picture and let's restore the rotation and reduce the opacity to zero. Do the same to all the images one after the other. So move it toward the, the other keyframe a little bit. The higher you go, the shorter it becomes. So let's add shadow to all the images. Click on the image and click on the shadow. I need to apply automatically. Do the same for all the images one after the other. All right, I think we're done here. Let's preview it and see what we have. Click on play and this is what we have. Alright, finally, let's add a background video to our slideshow. Drag and drop in a video of your choice on the last track on the timeline and resize it and use it as a background. So I'll see you in the next video. Here is the final product. Check it out. and share it with your friends so I can keep making them. For more awesome and unique videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also be sure to check out my other videos on this channel as well. 
and don't forget to leave a comment below i love it be sure to watch the videos on the screen that we have picked for you thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video